Tim for Johnny. Johnny sets the tone. I see it's snarky and mean tonight. He set it on, on mild stun. Be gentle. Hi. Raise your hand if you think Johnny's full of crap. That's a lot of hands. I've never seen so many hands go up. Hang on, hang on a sec. Allegedly. Really? You want to try again? That's what she said. Very good. Well done. I see we've 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 put the bar up high where it belongs. This is a learning lab for theater. We're not actually required to get anything right. Uh, this is a real depressing fact for anybody who watches us on YouTube, but it's a lot of fun for us, right? <laughs> for those of you on YouTube, I just want to screw with their minds. Don't pause. Buffering. This video, and under any circumstances, otherwise it might be confusing because what I'm about to talk about is live theater. Cheer if you are a part of the live theater experience. Yeah! If you're at home, you missed out on that scream. But if you wait, we'll wait while you do it once by yourself. Oh, very good. Very, that was nice. You can stop screaming now. That's, that's good. It's a, please stop screaming. You're hurting us. You can start to hear the wails in the background. Just as an aside, guys, I'm really glad we didn't go for wails. and That would have been a whole different sound. What would the... Welcome to the planetarium. No, they're not buying it. Forget it. Forget it. You know what? You, YouTube, just, just, just skip over this part and go forward to the next bit. Yeah, that'll be good. You can't actually do that here. We can't actually chop it up. We don't get to edit. We don't get to stop. That's part of the magic. It does mean that we can do fun things, like I can, I can walk off the front of the stage and talk to you about your joke, and, and I can talk to Johnny, and we can all laugh about it. That's, that's part of the beauty of live theater. I think a lot of people in this day and age are forgetting. You guys know this. I'm speaking to the choir, as it were, sort of a Greek chorus. Trained monkeys. <laughs> Flying monkeys. Oh, sure, sure. No, I, I don't judge how the monkeys got here. I'm just glad they did. It's really what, yeah. Bananas, technically. They'll work for bananas. Good, good, good thinking. Jump right in. You know, normally this is more of a monologue format, but I'm enjoying this. That's good. Huh? Is this a monologue? Is it? Should I start again? We can't back up though, unfortunately. But the, the whole thing about the whole thing about the live theater experiences, you don't actually get to back up. Once you're up here, you've totally screwed the thing up. You just gotta dive in and make it happen. Which really sucks in moments like this, but when it goes well, it's beautiful. Wherein I use a segue to tell a story, but they probably won't notice. <laughs> you are great. Thank you. I live for that sound. There are a couple of sounds I live for. That's one of them. Another one sounds like this. There's nothing, just silent. Awkward silence, exactly. That's what it, awkward silence and somebody diving in to help. That's the sound I live for. Now you know. The times when it goes right are amazing. I, I had an opportunity last weekend where I learned a, sort of a philosophical lesson. In, in live theater that I, I want to share. Um, I was at a performance and they said, come out to the school and entertain. And they didn't tell me until I get there that it was a special school, it's a private school. And I don't want to say the name on the internet, but you know, we probably will mention it at some point later when the photos come out. But when we were there, I found out that it was a school only for geniuses. You couldn't be in the school unless you were brilliant and had severe learning difficulties, challenges that made it hard for you to get information in what we like to call the traditional way, which we all know sucks. That's my political humor. <laughs> Did you see that moment? Did you feel that live moment where I, 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 I for went becoming a senator ever? Did you see that happen right there? That was it. It was good. That happened a long time. 
that's also true, but I like to recap sometimes. It keeps it in the moment. So I'm at this event, and I, I wouldn't have known, except for it was a room full of people that felt like me. <laughs> you know, it's like, wow, everybody's very much here, very excited, and there's lots of cool stuff going on, and, and I'm doing what I do, which is, well, my job is to be an idiot. I, uh, there's no way, I mean, sure, I do idiot tricks. I juggle, and I ride a unicycle, and I, I do all this other stuff, but the truth is I'm there, I'm there to be an idiot. And um, I'm in this room, I tickled you. Did you or was it me? No, it was me. It was me. Oh, good. Do you, wait, check this out. I got half the room with that. <laughs> Family entertainer, check it out. <laughs> Family entertainer, so you can I got one in the back. Just the one. Weirdest Jedi ever. I know, right? <laughs> so, so what if you had a Jedi clown academy? It would look like this. Have you noticed, just a quick sidebar before we get back to the story, have you noticed that you can do this and you can do this and you can do this, but you should never do this? It's the damnedest thing. It's all in the order in which you, you know, ooh, sorry. Was... <laughs> Sir. <laughs> He's gonna call later, I'm sure of it. So, I'm there and, and I'm not doing this particular joke because otherwise they wouldn't let me back. And after doing all these big tricks, and you, you go and you go, hey, a big trick, and I'm great. And I'm walking back to our backstage area, a little dressing room, uh, and I'm going, and there's a kid in the hallway. And it's just a hallway. It's like, you know, school lockers, fish tank on the wall, pictures, and a little kid standing there. And so I stop, and the little kid looks at me, and he, and he looks at me, and he smiles, and I smile back at him, and he sits on the floor, so I, I squat down on the floor across the hallway from him. And um, we kind of look at each other, and he looks at me, and I look at him, and he looks at me. And I'm, I'm going to give you a quick, a quick preview. This, there's no narrative, and there's no punchline to the joke I'm telling. That's important. I look at him, he looks at me, he looks at me. I make weird faces at him. He makes weird faces back at me. Everybody make a weird face. You're backlit, I can't see it. <laughs> Here, I'll make one of you. Well, I was, it was all right. You know, I was, we do this for a little while, and then finally, I do something, and you guys have seen me do this a million times. I took off my hat, and I tossed it to him. And like magic, he threw it at me with everything he had. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I thought they checked IDs up front, because that's exactly what, what he did. And that happened, too. <laughs> and we kind of pondered that for a while. And the kid eventually... Uh, he just, he sort of helped out. It works better if you, you know, like that. It works. Thank you. Angles. So, uh, kid story. Okay. So, uh, we do this for a while, and finally the kid's parents come out of wherever they are, and they, they, they watch this for a while, and, and, and I'm, I'm just in the moment. I'm just there with him. And I stand up, and he, he reaches out, and he gives me a little fist bump. You know, the fist bump. It's the international sign for you don't suck looks like this. Oh, yeah. So I get the fist bump, and that's exactly what happened. A very large number of people, considering the size of the hallway, started applauding. And I looked around, and I realized we had drawn a crowd. <laughs> we had drawn a rather large crowd of people that were blocking traffic, causing all sorts of problems, fire, fire issues, and things like that. But there it was. It was this moment that it happened. And now, I don't think anyone was standing there waiting for the punchline. I don't think a single person was like, oh, he's going to do something funny. Or the way the kid's going to be cute. I don't think that. They just wanted to see what happened when an idiot and a child met, and they spent some time entertaining each other with, with the hat. That was, all, that was all they had. I think this was the moment I got philosophical. I try to analyze all of my performances. Whenever I perform, I go home and I go, how did it go? People like to ask me, you guys are like, how did it go? And I always like to tell you about the big trick you want to hear about. Oh yeah, well I rode this giant big wheel and I juggled and I do all this other stuff. And the big wheel was awesome, it really was. Um, but you know, I did all this stuff, but the true moment for me was this one because there was an entire group of people that forgot that, oh yes, this was an event. And I was a professional entertainer, and this was a well-trained acting child, clearly. Uh, and we were, just, we were just there in the moment, and everybody was along for the ride. And that was amazing to me. It was beautiful, and it was, it was idiotic, it was stupid. It went nowhere in particular, much like this entire story. 
But what I think is beautiful that you don't get if you're at home and you can hit pause and you can go take a leak, uh, I like the we that happened then, that was nice. I think any time we say leak tonight, someone should do that. Leak. Yeah, see, that's great. Now we got a thing, it's great. But when we're in the, in the moment, we just, we have this, this is a moment, that would never have happened if we were at home watching this. I'm preaching to the choir here, but the truth is, the reason why places like performances that are live and places like this where we get to play with it and screw it up and try it are important is because things happen that would never happen anywhere else. I learned that here at the open stage. Welcome. Did you catch it? Because I threw that son of a gun blind as hell. <laughs> I can't start again until we get it back. Okay. No problem. It's pretty good for a first try. All right. Well, we'll get the show on in a minute. The assist and the win. All right. Shall we get it on the road?